Okay, guys, this is the Camden that just came back on the market in Plantation at College Point. Um, this is the one that's the Deer, DR Horton uh, Tier 2 neighborhood. And as you'll see, some of the differences as we go through, I'll point them out. Um, this is the actual house. It is party. And you have paper driveways in this neighborhood. I'm just going to kind of fan around. There's a small spot up there. And then you go up the street. And this just kind of makes a loop. But this is a nice corner lot. And you can fence up to five feet from the sidewalk there. So I'll send you the plot plan so that you can see how much side yard you get. You get quite a bit of side yard on this house. And then of course it is the three car garage. And your driveway goes all the way across. So you have plenty of room to stack cars in the driveway. And let's see, I'm just gonna turn around so you can see from this direction. And then we'll go in and take a look. Sorry, it took me a second. Okay. So you have your Jack and Jill bedrooms here when you come in the front. So this is the front bedroom. Nice closet. And then another difference is here you have bar pools, the brush nickel bar pools on your cabinet doors. You also have the brush nickel uh, fixtures. It's an upgraded lighting package. Ooh, I like this granite. Now this is the Del Mar. This is EVP. It's a darker floor also. And then you have <clears throat> shelving behind here. And then this bathroom. And then you come into the other bedroom. And these bedrooms are about the same size in your closets here. Always show the carpet so you can really get an idea of how big the closet is. And then you come back out into, and you go to the entryway there and you see all the crown molding as you come in. And then you have crown molding that's going to go over to this side, which is the ensuite. You have a half bath here, which is fantastic. And it's a really nice size half bath. And the laundry room is incredible. It's like a, its own separate room. It's huge. So you've got plenty of space here. You could add in cabinets and things. Later, I can give you the name of the cabinet company. And this goes out to your garage. You have a coat closet here. And then you have a little bit of a mud area here. And you see the crown goes all the way there. And then the three car garage. So this is the smaller garage. And then you have the double garage there. Your hot water heater is platformed up. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's a slight slope to the garage floor. So if the water heater ever was to rust out in the bottom, it'll flow down and go straight out the garage. And your electrical panel. Then we'll go back in. 
and then we continue on down this little alcove that goes on to the ensuite and you have what we refer to as the study which a lot of people make this like a second living area And then this bedroom is a really nice size. And then you have a nice big closet, walk in. And then you have this bathroom. Full bath. And then we'll go back out into the main area of the home. Okay. And that's the two secondary bedrooms with the Jack and Jill in between, back to the front of the home. And then here can either be a formal dining room. And again, you see all the crown molding and the tray. And then this, of course, is your inside air handler. Your filter changes right there in the bottom. And this is where your smart panel is going to go for your smart home system. It'll be installed there once you have internet. And then the living space, you have a single tray, ceiling fan, and then this is the kitchen. So your refrigerator would go there. And these all have a gray center island. Uh, it's the new trend now is to have a uh, different colored island. And these are all gray. You have cabinets on this side. And then again, all of the um, trim, crown molding. Great pantry in this. Again, I do the floor so you can see how big it is. And then you have the hood and then you have the cooktop. And then your dishwasher is here. Again, you have a gray island and then all of these cabinets are white. We'll get you a new drawer front. Actually, the whole drawer is missing. They must have ordered another one. Um, and then your faucet. And again, these are all different from the finishes that are in the, the Bridge Harbor. Uh, you do, however, get a filtered water system that you call them once you move in. You get the kitchen free. Their goal, of course, is to sell you um, the system for the whole, whole home, but you can absolutely say just install my kitchen free. Uh, this is like a um, refrigerator filtered water on steroids. It's not reverse osmosis. If you wanted to reverse osmosis, you can pay an upcharge of $299 and make this one reverse osmosis. And you don't have to buy the whole house. And then you have a breakfast area here. And then your microwave and your oven are here. And you have cabinets above. And again, these are all white shaker cabinets except for the gray island. And then you go into the master. You have a single tray, but your crown continues into the master bedroom. This is a really huge bedroom. And then you have the soaker tub. And then you have a tiled shower in this neighborhood. In uh, Bridge Harbor, you would have a fiberglass shower. So, tiled shower. 
And then you have the double sinks, your cabinets, and then you also have a butter closet and you have linen closet and then the master bedroom closet. And it goes on back. to the master bedroom. And I'm gonna walk out in the back. Again, breakfast area, living space, really nice living space. And then your formal dining. And then I'm gonna go out on the patio. And this is your patio. Now, these are 65 foot wide blocks. This one is a little different because it's um, a clear lot. So, your yard is going to be about halfway between on this side. So, yeah, the base is like about 10 feet, maybe a little more on the side. And you can fence 20 feet back. house and I'm it's kind of wet I was telling you earlier we had a big storm so now when you walk on around like I was telling you you do have a big side yard just loops on around. Big back patio. living space. And then back out in the neighborhood. And I think I'm going to get in my car and just drive you around this center section so you can also see the neighborhood and where the playground is. Bear with me. Just a second. driveway so just driving around the circle and these homes are all sold on this side
this way. Putting the sidewalk in and then there is the playground I was telling you about right there and then if I take the fork to the left that goes back around to your house or I can go straight out and then I'm back to the gate And this is Eisenhower here. That takes you around to Harvard, which will run you over to uh, 390. And then this way is 12th Street. Just loop around over here. And that is 12th Street, which will take you back to 389. Or you can go to the right and go to Harvard. just to give you an idea. Okay, I hope that helps.